Oh, we're ready. Hello, welcome to today's spacecast. <clears throat> we often talk about love and what love is and what love isn't, especially at weddings and things like that. Um, how do we know really what love is all about? In John's Gospel, John's keen to tell us, as uh, the other Gospels also, who God is and how we relate to him, who Jesus is and so on. And he covers this aspect of, of love, how God loves us and how we are to love him and what it means and why it matters. And there are two verses in John's Gospel, chapter 14. This is verse 15 and 21. I'll, I'll cut the bit in between out and put these two together. It says in verse 15, if you love me, you will obey what I command. And then in verse 21, it says, whoever has my commands and obeys them, he is the one who loves me. So one verse kind of reinforces the other, doesn't it? Let's look at that again. Verse 15 of John 14. If you love me, you will obey what I command. Seems straightforward, doesn't it? If we love God, if we're in that close enough relationship with God our Father, that we will do what he says, because we know how great and wonderful he is. We can trust him, we have respect for him, and we follow what he says for us in our lives. If we can do all that, then that's showing our love for him. That's what it says, isn't it? If you love me, you will obey what I command. Not just if you fear me, or you know me, or you respect me, but if you love me, you will obey what I command. And he brings it the other way around in the next bit. Whoever has my commands and obeys them, he is the one who loves me. So to obey what God asks us to do and be is to show love for him. Not just respect for him, not just obedience, but love. Isn't that amazing? We express our love by what we do and how we do it. It's another way of putting it. Do you express love that, that way to other people around you? by what you say to them and how you treat them. It's what we should be doing. We don't just express our love by, say, getting married or by buying them a present now and then or by whatever else it might be that you do to express love. It's not just those things. It's obeying them, being in step with them, keeping respect for all of those things which we need to do in our loving relationships and in our relationship with our Father in heaven. Read it again. If you love me, you will obey what I command. Do we follow the Lord's commands? And then again, whoever has my commands and obeys them, he is the one who loves me. So God reinforces it. And uh, the writer, John here, reinforces it, that obeying God is part of the love that we show for him and he for us. So to the question of obeying, how much do you obey God? How much do you obey him when you're being good, when you're doing church or when you're thinking church? And how much do you disobey him outside of that? That's how we can live sometimes a twofold life, a life where we acknowledge God sometimes, but not others. That's not the best way to live. The best way to live is to follow his ways all the time. Then we will be expressing our love for him. Have a good day. Take care. See you soon.